Hello, hello everybody. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Zakaria the Ghost. I'm back again with another episode of Kings of Jobek. And this time I am concerned about season two. Because before Shona Ferguson, you know, passed away, he told us that, you know, Kings of Jobek season two has been, you know, approved. You know, they have the green light now whereby we can see season two. But one thing that he didn't mention is that they were already on production or they were still going to do season two production. Because if they were already on production, that means we are going to see Simon Masiri on season two. But if they didn't, it was just, you know, accepted for season two or approved, that means we might not see Simon Masiri unless if the writers will give us the flashbacks whereby they will go back and show us some of the things which happened before we see, you know, how Simon Masire got into power, how Simon Masire convinced the mermaid to be close to him and how Simon Masire has been feeding the mermaid for many years, you know. And I think that will be very interesting because, oh man, Kings of Jobek without Simon Masire, many people think it cannot be as entertaining as it was on season one, but I think it can still be entertaining. I think it can still be entertaining because of, I think, you know, they might go legit more and also total. And I think, you know, But you can't really tell. But I think it, it will be it will be amazing season two, you know, because of now the way I was talking about if they will go back and, and highlight those things, and also if they will also give Kinei the power whereby we can see her without being under you know uh, the control or the spell or the shadow of the big brother Simon Masira because now Simon you know he was like telling them what to do how to behave how to you know live their day-to-day -day life and who to date and you know what not to do because we saw that even Kenaino she was even hiding a relationship you know with Lester so I think maybe she will have more freedom. I think maybe the Kuz or your brothers on season two, they will have more power. We will see how they do things also in Cape Town and Devon. You know, I think it's going to be amazing. We will see also, I think we will also see, you know, characters which were not given, you know, freedom to shine on, on season two, you know, shining. You know, it is just uh, heartbreaking what happened to Shona Ferguson, you know, because, you know, Kings of Jobek was like his baby, you know, how how he worked on it, how he really gave everything he has, because this is the most, you know, successful TV show that he did. I know he did The Queen, I know that, you know, we have seen some great, great TV shows that he did before, like Rockville, but this man was right there, it was on top. Because now we, we see some of the videos that he, he used to, you know, have of um, the behind the scenes whereby he was like also practicing, you know, what they will do, you know, how they were practicing those scenes, you know, that we saw, especially the finale of season one, you know, those, you know, um, scene whereby they were fighting how they were re they were rehearsing actually let me just put it that way whereby they were showing us the rehearsal you know it, it's heartbreaking because i i see how dedicated he was you know on this um tv show man and he was he was excited because he knew that finally he's he's right there on the water stage you know whereby he can let other actors and actresses you know shine from Africa and, and not only Africa, you know, he was also going to USA and collaborating with American, you know, actors and actresses, you know, and I think we were just robbed, you know, and yeah, man, and, and this was the most successful TV show that he had, you know, because Rockville was there, but it wasn't like Kings of Jobek, you know, the Queen was there, but it was not like Kings of Jobek, you know, and um 
I think that the Ferguson farm production will continue. You know, I think Connie Ferguson will, will continue with Shona Ferguson's legacy. I think she will carry on with the plans that they had. It's going to be tough. I know it's going to be tough for her. You know, but I think she has a strong team that will support her. You know, I think everybody knows, you know, what they were already discussing, what they already strategize on when it comes to season two and maybe season three, four and five. You know, I think they will carry on doing what they, they spoke about. And I think it's going to be a big task for Connie Ferguson. But, you know, it's about time that, you know, women, they also, you know, run these big companies. I think it's about time we find, you know, women in these boardrooms whereby they can give more jobs and and represent women in those boardrooms, you know, and yeah, it's one of those, you know, it's it's heartbreaking. But I think they will give us the flashbacks, you know, they will keep on, you know, showing us Shona Ferguson, they will keep on showing us Simon Masire. Let me say, just say Simon Masiri right there because of now he is playing Simon Masiri in this character. But, you know, it's, it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough, you know, to, to um, come back, you know, on season two since we saw that also Simon Masiri lost the father on, on this, this um, TV show because his father was also amazing and he was playing a great you know, character is a veteran, you know, and, um, yeah, man, you know, they just lost two top actors, you know, on season one, you know, it's going to be a bit tough to bounce back on season two, you know, and, um, I'm a biggest fan, man. I'm a biggest fan, whatever they do, you know, um, I think it's going to be amazing, you know, and just feel free to comment down below. And I think maybe even the, the season two, when they started, they can continue from, you know, the last scene. And I think also that scene whereby Mo Masiri shot uh, to the direction of Simon Masiri, they can just spin it right there of saying Mo decided to kill the brother because of he wanted them to go legit. You know, he wanted, you know, him and Proto to start the legit business he was going to become a problem because he was not going to give up the power that he had from the mermaid after after what he did on the last episode of season one you know you can tell that maybe they might use that on the advantage of saying you know we can just write him off this way you know that that's possible that's possible that but it depends if they were already on production or not and I'll just leave it here and I will hear what you guys are saying about Kings of Jobek. I am saying it's a masterpiece and I am saying we are going to enjoy season two like we enjoyed season one. Maybe this will be more entertaining than season one. I don't know. What are you saying, guys? Do you think season two will be better than season one? Let me know.